Hello friends, today we're going to see about the important IV anesthetic drug midazolam. From this video, you'll know. What is midazolam? Systemic effects of midazolam. Advantages and disadvantages of midazolam. Before going to the video. If you're new to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get regular notifications. Now we'll get on to the video. First we'll know what is midazolam. Midazolam is a short-acting injectable benzodiazepine with a rapid onset that is commonly used in seizures, anesthesia, and anxiety disorders. It is a hypnotic sedative drug with anxiolytic, muscle relaxant, anticonvulsant, sedative, hypnotic, and amnesic properties. It belongs to a class of drugs called benzodiazepines. This drug is unique due to its rapid onset of effects and short duration of action. Mechanism of Action Like other IV anesthetics, the actions of benzodiazepines such as midazolam are also mediated through the inhibitory neurotransmitter gamma-aminobutyric acid GABA, which is one of the major inhibitory neurotransmitters in the central nervous system. Benzodiazepines bind to the benzodiazepine site on GABA receptors, which potentiates the effects of GABA by increasing the frequency of chloride channel opening. These receptors have been identified in different body tissues including the heart and skeletal muscle, although mainly present in the central nervous system. Systemic Effects of Benzodiazepines Central Nervous System in IV anesthetics except for ketamine, all causes of vasoconstriction on CNS. So, it decreases blood flow. Thereby it decreases the intracranial pressure and reduces the cerebral metabolic rate. Due to this reason, it is used as an anticonvulsant. Midazolam is the first line of drugs for convulsants. Cardiovascular System while injecting, there is the action of releasing histamine. This histamine causes peripheral vasodilation and causes hypotension. To compensate for the hypotension the heart increases the heart rate. So, it causes hypotension and tachycardia. Respiratory System Benzodiazepines cause respiratory depression. If benzodiazepines is given an overdose, it can suppress respiratory activities. So, it can lead to respiratory depression. Especially when giving opioids. Because opioids also cause respiratory depression. This respiratory depression can cause apnea. Management The first thing is we need to administer some oxygen, either in the form of an oxygen mask or intubation. We can also use pharmacological antagonists of benzodiazepine, flumazenil. Flumazenil is a benzodiazepine antagonist that is used for the complete or partial reversal of the sedative effects caused by benzodiazepines in various clinical settings. Advantages. Uses of benzodiazepines are. The first one is anxiolytic reduce anxiety. The second one is a sedative agent. The third one is it is a good anti-epileptic drug. The fourth one is, it produces amnesia. What do you mean by amnesia? It is nothing but an inability to remember events for some time. We don't want the patient to recollect the things that have happened in the operation theater because it can cause psychological problems. So he should have amnesia. Amnesia is of two types. Retrograde amnesia. A loss of memory access to events that occurred in the past. Anterograde amnesia. Refers to a decreased ability to retain new information. So that the patient can't learn new skills or information when he is anterograde anesthesia. This benzodiazepines are known to produce anterograde amnesia. Increase the duration of the induction agent. 
the induction agents have a shorter duration of action, when it is given with benzodiazepines the duration of action is prolonged. Midazolam is short acting and water soluble. Since it is water soluble, it can be given by intravenous, intramuscular, intranasal, and oral routes. As IM injection is painful, this route should only be used in exceptional cases where we cannot put IV line to the patient. Example, convulsive patients. For IM, it is injected deep into a large muscle mass 20 to 60 minutes before induction of anesthesia. Central muscle relaxant. Benzodiazepines were acting on the GABA receptor. These GABA receptors also have a role in muscle relaxation. So they access centrally acting muscle relaxants. Disadvantages Are not used as induction agents. Because they had slow induction requiring high doses for induction. This leading to prolonged recovery. Midazolam has a risk for abuse and addiction, which can lead to overdose and death. Okay, friends, that's all about today I hope you all like this video. Subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.